In this video, I'm going to show you how to build value during your consultation calls. This line of questioning is going to be really, really good. Uh, you can use this line of questioning for just about any industry, whether you're doing high ticket or monthly reoccurring, which is what I do and what I recommend. Now, fitness is the example in this video, but again, you can take this level of questioning, change the questions to suit your industry, but the cadence, the tone, the verbiage, the digging deep, that should all be established like this during the first 30 minutes of every single sales call before you even consider pitching the person and going over the process or your unique mechanism within your program. Let's jump in. So how old are you? 47. Great. How tall are you? 5'10". Awesome. What is your current weight? 250 pounds. Okay, cool. Very, very cool. Uh, how long you been? 250 pounds. Ton of months. Okay, awesome. Uh, what's your goal weight? 200 pounds. Oh, okay. So you, about 50 pounds you want to lose? Is that right? Yes. Okay, cool. When was the last time you were 200 pounds? Oh man, like seven years ago. Oh, okay. That's wild. Hey, we're going to get there in no time. That's no problem. That's exactly why we're here. Uh, do you happen to know your current body fat? No, not at all. Okay. Uh, that's no problem. So what I'm going to do here uh, is I'm actually going to pull up my body fat chart and just kind of show you ranges of where we're actually supposed to be. What the hell? One second. No worries. I'm going to show you some ranges of actually where we're supposed to be, and then we can shoot for a goal on how to get there. So if you had to guess based off of, based off of this, where would you say, so you're a man, you're 47, where would you say you're, you're at here just based off of how you feel or just what you think? Would you have an idea? Uh, maybe like health risk area, like 29 to 31%. Okay. So we just want to get to 23 to 25, man. Like that's, that's all we're shooting for. This is our, our short-term goal. And we're going to get down here, down here. And I mean, once we're at excellent, you're talking like eight packs. So if that's where you want to go, we can absolutely go there. But for right now we go to 23 to 25. So we start feeling good, looking good, close start fit, nice, all that good, great stuff. Does that sound good? Sounds fucking great mm -hmm. here. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, um, Awesome. And we're going to put that. So now quick medical. Uh, have you ever had any dizzy spells, heart problems, heart attack, or have a heart attack or stroke? Uh, no. He's high blood typical. pressure, high cholesterol. Are you currently pregnant? By the way, I do ask guys that because it always gets a small chuckle. Okay. <laughs> like when I asked you accidentally, do you have a, like a man? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's exactly. Sure. And like, so you always get a small laugh. No, I'm not on it. Not on any of that. So now let's say you are on, you do have high blood pressure. Like, okay, are you on medication? Yes. Okay, how, how long are you on medication now? And then you're writing these notes down. I've been on it for six months. Okay, would you like to get off of it? Yes. Does it make you feel like shit? Yes. Okay, cool. How long do your doctors say you had to be on it? Forever. Don't listen to him. He gets paid to put you on that shit. We're going to make sure we get you off that stuff. Um, so did you see how they came? It's all problem solution. Like very simply, I want you to think about it like that. Problem, I'm on medication. Solution, he gets paid for that. We're going to get the, you the hell off that. They don't know how yet. So it's all yeah. everything that they come with, you bat it away and you give them a solution. Every single thing that they say. It's not just question, answer. It's question, answer, explanation, solution. like solution. You know what I'm saying? So arthritis, spinal disc problems, joint or bone problems. No. Diabetes, thyroid condition. No. Asthma or lung condition. No. Surgery in the past six months. No. All right. Clean bill of health. We are good to go. We're going to get off some high blood pressure medication. A uh, couple questions. We'll burn through this and then we'll hop into exactly what's going on and start putting together a plan for you. Sound good? Sounds yep. great. Okay. Uh, so what I want you to do, Jay, is I, I do want you to answer these so I could just show you without being the person that answers them, how, yeah. how I kind of navigate through. Um, okay. Have you ever been a member of a health club before? Yeah, I have a 24 hour fitness for like 10 years okay cool so 10 10 years you broke up for a second there 10 years you've been at 24 hour fitness you said yeah okay very cool how often are you going um i mean when i was when i first started i was going like five days a week i'm probably down to about uh two days maybe two days okay why'd you why'd you stop just busy life started a business just uh it hasn't been the priority to be honest it's just trying to get paid so i could do things i want to be doing gotta get paid gotta get paid gotta but get that money that, don't, that yeah. money don't mean shit if you can't freaking walk around and look good and feel good about it, right? <laughs> <laughs> true, true. So, you know, what's what's crazy about that though. And like, be, but being for real, I, I do understand that everyone's been there. Every personal trainer that you've ever met is, is a hundred percent been there. 
uh, whether they admit it or not, unless they're freaking David Goggins. But the reality is your life's just going to get busier and busier. You're going mm-hmm. to get more and more stuff. You're going to make more and more friends. Life gets in the way. Things happen, good or bad, excuses and reasons. So what we need to do is we need to learn how to get to the gym while life is happening, because then as life gets bu- easier or a bit, bu- I'm sorry, busier, this process of you going gets easier and easier. And to do that, again, motivation is great. Discipline is even better. And discipline's like a muscle. So the more you work it, the, the stronger it gets. And that's exactly why I'm, I'm here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And so now with this being said, you're going two days a week. How many days a week are you planning on working out? Uh, like now that we're kind of here having this conversation? Like four to five. Four to five. Okay. I think it's a great goal. I, what I'm going to say is honestly, and you, like, this might be the opposite of what people say. Uh, I'm going to say if, if we could commit to four and start there and then slowly work our way up for there, I think that'll be a really, really good short-term goal. Like once okay. we do four days a week for four weeks in a row, we could possibly add a fifth day. But if we can get you consistent on four weeks, it's kind of that work smarter, not harder mentality. I think we'll be in mm-hmm. a really good spot. What do you think? That sounds good. Okay. Uh, have you ever worked with a personal trainer before, whether in person or online? I did when I was younger. Uh, it was like one of my friends, but he was a 24 hour fitness trainer and um, like he had just started. So I kind of helped him out. He helped me out. It was good. That's awesome. Good- so you, you liked it? Yeah, I definitely liked being with the coach. That's why I'm like a little more interested in maybe doing online coaching just because I have worked with the in-person coach. That's it's awesome. Just- it, I think right now it's just like, I don't want to think about the, what I have to put together, like program wise. I just, I just want to go to the gym and just work out. That's perfect, man. Yeah, that's great. That's so you've obviously done in person, uh, online coaching is actually, in my opinion, and I've done both. I've been a trainer in person for many, many years and I've been online. The reason why I actually prefer online. And I think most people do when they get better results is because if you notice when you were with your friend in the gym, guess what? You were only with him in the gym during your workout, right? Mm -hmm. When you're not with your friend, aside from him being your friend and you guys may be talking fitness here and there, you really weren't getting much out of that, right? No, like I wasn't only, only working out when I was with him. Exactly. So with an online coach, which is great, which is why I do this is I'm here for you whenever you need me. I'm accessible whenever you need me. And more importantly, I'm going to cover all your bases, not only just in the gym, like when you're in person, but outside of the gym too, making sure you're hitting your food, making sure you're hitting your water, making sure you're hitting your steps, making sure you're doing all the right things so we can create habits, we can create routines, we can strengthen that discipline muscle to make sure you're getting exactly where you need to go. Does that make sense? Yeah. It sounds way better, right? Like, I mean, it's just apples apples to oranges. Um, Is your spouse... Is your spouse or partner supportive of you getting in shape? Uh, currently single. Currently single. Cool. So do you, do you have like, uh, you still working out with any buddies or are you just kind of riding solo lately, working on the business, working on yourself? Uh, I mean, I've been doing a lot of different stuff with, with, uh, with people like collaboration and businesses and then um, just kind of like gym wise, flying solo. Okay, cool. I think working out by yourself is great. Uh, again, kind of for the reasons that we keep kind of coming back to which is like life gets busy you never want to have an out oh i have a workout buddy but he stopped going with me so i stopped going to the gym what the fuck does john have to do with your fucking workout gabe nothing you know what i mean like it doesn't doesn't make any sense so it's like okay jay doesn't go to the gym uh eric doesn't go to the gym doesn't matter if jay's going to the gym or not eric's always gonna freaking go to the gym and then so like that's the whole mentality so having a support system mentally is great like i want people there for you i want people not encouraging you to eat bad foods and not doing bad things and drinking every friday and doing all this this bullshit stuff that's kind of just a waste of time and not going towards the person that you want to become but like making sure that you have people in your corner that are like dude, you're fucking looking good. Keep at it. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing what you're doing. Like, this is great. And if you don't have those, those people, it's exactly why I'm here. I'm the dude in your corner to be that support system, to make sure you're not freaking waking up at midnight, eating a bowl of freaking fruity pebbles and then drinking <laughs> all day Friday after you just crushed, crushed a low weigh in, you know, like that's yeah. exactly why we're here. Um, okay. so don't worry about that. Stay working out by yourself for as long as you possibly can that's your time. And the more you time that you have to work on yourself, the better off you're going to be. Yeah, that's your time. You don't you don't need anyone else to be in there. You don't need an accountability buddy. You don't need any of that stuff. You need 
you got to treat this like it's your business. You know what I mean? Like this is, you don't like go, Hey, do you want to go to work with me today? Like it's, this is, this is how seriously this should be taken. Okay. Um, so on a scale one to five, it's cause it sounds like you've, you've got some knowledge here. Uh, one being like, I know literally nothing and freaking just tell me everything and mm -hmm. five, like, dude, I know everything there is to know about personal training. And like, just to give you an example, I'm not even a five, I'm probably like a, a four. Uh, so like, there's always so much more to learn, but just on that scale, what, where would you put yourself for your knowledge of resistance training? In, in terms of like resistance bands training or what type of resistance training? Uh, just like uh, strength training, free weights, things like that. Probably like a two. A two? Okay. Very, very cool. That's that's totally fine, man. We're going to teach you so much stuff here. This just gives me a really, really good gauge of exactly where you're at. Also, like me just knowing how to talking with you about things. Like I'm not just going to start throwing out all this random shit that you're probably not going to understand. Okay. Um, so like I'm going to make sure that we're – I'm educating along the way as well as getting you to implement. And that's, that's going to be exactly why we're here. Okay. Um, so what upcoming events in your life, man, are going to help motivate you to improve your physical appearance or fitness level? Anything well, uh, going on? Um, I mean, getting back into the dating world. Ooh, I like it. I like yeah. it. Dating. How long has it been? Uh, I mean, have consistent partner. It's been off and on for like five years. So like, I feel like I've probably been single for like three of those. On for five. Awesome, man. Hey, maybe, you know what? You're going to meet someone at the gym. Start going there a little more. Right. <laughs> she's, she's, she's at a, she's at the squat rack, bro. Like let's, 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 let's freaking go. Um, no, that's, that's a great goal, man. That's a great goal, which is cool. What's cool about that goal is there's no timeline. Like it's actually for you. You're like, I want to feel good about myself first yeah. before I go out there and like make sure I'm like finding the right person, like present your best, best self and the best version of yourself. So that's awesome. Do you have any, like any vacations or anything else coming up? That's like a harsh deadline that we need to hit. Uh, not per, uh, per se. I just been really focused on growing my business. So I don't have a lot of vacations going, but I mean, it is the summer right now and it'd be nice to be on the beach a little bit before the end of the summer. Oh yeah. Everyone loves the beach. <laughs> So that'll be, that'll be really good. So what's that like? How much, how much more summer we got? Like three months, 90 days? Probably like two months ish. Two months, 60 yeah. days. Oh yeah. You're in San Diego. It stays, gets a little colder there. Yeah. Just a little, not, not much. Maybe Tampa, like, Tampa. Maybe like, be three to six, maybe like three months more of sun, four months. Yeah. Three, four months. I think yeah. we'll be in a, we'll be in a good spot. So you have what? You got 50 pounds to lose. I think comfortably we can do. I would say 10 pounds would probably be the max I would want to put you on. Now I've gotten people to lose it quicker and they have, but what we're focusing on here is consistent change, permanent change. Mm -hmm. And would you rather have it temporary off and then back on, or would you rather do it the right fucking way and then keep it off permanently? I would like to keep it off permanently. Exactly. So that's what we're, that's exactly what we're trying to do and what we're trying to accomplish. So, you know, three months in, we can be 30 pounds down, four months in, 40 pounds down, five months in. 50 pounds down, but the job's still not done because we have to, uh, put on an underlying, like basically ball of muscle that we're going to spread all over your body. We're going to mm -hmm. add 10 lean solid pounds of muscle in the next 12 months on you. And that's going to be key and instrumental in creating this permanent change. And we'll get into homeostasis and all of that stuff in a little bit, but that's really like my strategy when it comes to this on how we get results and how we keep the weight off. Okay. So we'll dive into all that fun stuff in a little bit. Uh, what's preventing you from exercising in the past? I don't want to answer for you, but I think we kind of covered this. Um, it's really like, you know, maybe motivation and then uh, time because you're working on the business, essentially. Any other ones that pop out to you? Mm, maybe a little bit of procrastination. Little, yeah, I feel that. Feel that for sure. Okay, cool. Well, don't worry about that. Procrastination. It's really, really fucking hard to... Uh, to basically stay away uh, and procrastinate when you got someone that's like in your text messages 24 seven. That's like, Hey, make sure you send me a picture when you're at the goddamn gym. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so we're going to be good there. I'm not worried about any of that stuff. Oh, fun. Like let's get into food now. This is actually, this is super important. So how many meals per day are you eating roughly? Full meals? Three. Three. Okay, cool. And are we talking like healthy meals? Like what do you, what are we typically eating with those meals? Yeah, I'm, I eat relatively healthy. I'm eating like in the morning, I'm eating like um, some sourdough bread with some like five, six eggs and an avocado. 
Okay. I, okay. My, I tend to eat most of my, I tend to eat the biggest meal like for breakfast. Okay. Very cool. And then yeah. are the other meals like, is it downhill from there or are they just as clean? They're pretty clean. I, I don't really have too much of a problem with the nutrition. It's, I, it's just more dialing in, in, in the gym, like getting the activity. Getting the activity. Okay. So we probably live in a, a big sedentary life. I would actually probably put money on that. You're not eating enough carbs, um, which is chances are if, if you're, if you're carrying extra weight around and you're eating clean, there's a 99% chance that you're not eating, eating enough carbs. So we're going to need to spike your metabolism, get that up there, eat as much food as we possibly can preheat the oven, if you will, and then start yeah. slowly stripping it away. So we, we melt the fat off and basically okay. just jumpstart it. So that's going to be our plan. Are you drinking any pop, any soda? No, I haven't drank soda since I was probably like a junior in high school. Hell yeah. Okay, it's good. Me too. I never enjoy I like obviously enjoyed it back then but I, I didn't really see the return on investment there's nothing to <laughs> with that now I'll do when I do physique competitions I will have coke zero it's like my my thing like I'll have a couple coke zeros as like my sweetener but mm -hmm. it's not a year-round thing that that by any means we should do and there is zero benefit other than I'm like I gotta get that that sugar craving out of the way even though there's no it's fake sugar but you know what I mean yeah um are you eating any snacks no, I mean, like if I do have snacks, I literally, I can it, literally eat like a hundred percent cacao bar. Like I just, I like things more for like the, the value that they add like nutritionally. Like okay. I, I don't really, cool. I can eat the same thing like every day. It's just, like I said, it's more like just getting into the rhythm of like exercising again. You're speaking, you're speaking my language, man. This is awesome. Yeah. This is all great. Same thing every day, clean food. This is going to be so easy. This is a slam dunk. Uh, how many meals do you eat out weekly? Are you going out to restaurants, gas station snacks, anything like that? Chipotle. If I do if I do, if I do gas station snacks, it's usually like the, like, um, some protein shake. Cause I forgot like something or like, I'll get one of those perfect bars. Okay. It's like, it's all peanut butter, but it's okay. like organic. It's like around th 370 calories. It's like, nice, but it's not too bad. It just, I would have to change my, maybe my carb intake or something at the end of the night. If I ate one of those, how many, uh, how many calories would you say you're probably eating right now? Uh, probably around 2200 calories 2300 calories how long you been on that um probably the last six months oh yeah it's your body's your body's itching for a. we we gotta basically do a reverse a reverse diet your body's itching for it especially if you're carrying 50 extra pounds right now like, yeah and you're on that low caloric intake like we want you to be eating 2500 2600 calories walking around with like a six pack like not shredded but like beefy how you want to look with a six pack you can see the v cut like mm -hmm. you're looking more defined like that's exactly what we're trying to do um but i think your body's just starving for more carbs right now to light that fire and that's okay. also going to give you the energy you need to get in the gym to feel good uh now at first you're going to be like this sucks like the, i'm force feeding myself because you're used to 2200 but we're going to reestablish your baseline and that's what's going to be getting us going all right yeah Okay. I'm assuming because you don't drink soda, you don't smoke, uh, and you don't drink alcohol either. No, I do not. Okay, cool. Uh, how many times have you started and quit an exercise or diet program in the past? Hmm. Probably over the last few years, maybe like two, three times. Two or three times. Okay. Yeah. Why? And why'd you quit? Was it just like life getting in the way? Yeah. It's just like you start a business and it's like the first thing out the door is like that the first thing you got to give is time. And it's just like, the time management behind it. Cause I'm like, I got to get this going. Cause I, I need to survive. You need to survive right now. Yeah, no. 100%. Yeah. yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, cool. Well, we're not gonna, this is going to be the last freaking one that we start and stop. All right. This is like, if you're, if you're doing this, you're committing now you're committing forever. This isn't like just one of those fad diets like this. And, and I also fucking hate when people say this is a lifestyle change. Like, yes, that's what it is. But now that's so overly used for people that end up not changing their lifestyle and just revert back to their old habits. Like this yeah. is habit forming, routine forming, discipline creating, like this is your new damn life type mm -hmm. of stuff. This isn't, I'm like, I'm just going to start this new diet with this new cool trainer and do all yeah. the things and then get in shape and then you know, six months down the line, it's all gone, right? We're not doing that again. Mm -hmm. Um, when was the last time you're in the best shape of your life? Probably my mid twenties, mid twenties. And what about, what about that was like, you were in the best shape. I was like freaking shredded eight pack 
down to my fucking pubes, dude. Like every vein everywhere. <laughs> Let's go. That's awesome, man. That, that's awesome. And like, so do you, and I, I don't, I don't know because I can only see, well, right now your camera's not even on, but I can only see it from here up. But do you know, do you think that your body has the ability to get back down to that? Is that something where you even want to get back down to? Uh, yeah, that would definitely be something I would want to get back to. I think, um, I think when I, my body takes pretty well when I start working out, but it's just like being consistent. Okay. Okay. Very cool, man. Well, I say, well, do you know what you weighed at that time? Like two, that's a, uh, let me see. What, what are we, what weight do we say? I weigh 200. <laughs> you're, yeah. You're 250 I weighed, right I now. Weighed one, I weighed 175. 175. Okay. Yeah. The, the cool thing is, I mean, that was years and years ago now. Mm -hmm. So we probably definitely have a lot more muscle. Mm -hmm. So we won't reestablish 175 as like a new end goal, mm -hmm. but we're going to do it based off of the way you look. Okay. I'll give you an example. Like the first show I did, I went from 233 pounds, about 40% body fat from doing like a really, really three year, like nasty, like bulk, pretty much eating everything in sight. But I had zero, like zero muscle. Mm -hmm. And I went to 167 on stage and I was just shredded beyond belief. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it was, it was great. Uh, but I also felt so tiny. So I did a year of clean bulking. And then the next year I was the same body fat percentage, but I was 176 pounds on stage and I looked oh, wow. twice, as, twice as better. So yeah. it's just really, a, I stripped too far down essentially. So we want to make sure that you're looking how you want to look, you look healthy, uh, you mm -hmm. look good. And then, uh, you're still maintaining as much muscle as possible. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. Cool, yeah. man. So you would like to, we're going to lose some fat, improve health, look better, learn yeah. more exercises. You said was a big deal to you. Yeah. You want to feel better, improve muscle tone. We don't, we don't want to gain weight, right? We want to no. do all that other stuff. Everything except for the gain weight. Okay. Sounds good. We'll do down the road. You'll, we'll probably be need to need to do a bulk after we get you shredded. So we'll worry about it then. Uh, scale one to 10. How serious are you about reaching all your fitness goals that we talked about today? Like a seven or eight. Seven or eight, bro. After I just got you that jacked up, we're a seven <laughs> or a freaking eight. We can't be a, like a nine or a ten. Give me a nine or what do I gotta get? There's some doubts. Or there's some doubts on my on what I've done. So I think it's just a track record in my head. I, I, I am stoked about it. Um, I am. I, I would say I like a nine. A nine. I'll go. We'll, yeah. I'll take a nine. I I'll accept yeah. a nine. The, right. the the track record, like I said, the track record has nothing to do with it. Who cares that you did three diets, three workouts, you've quit, you start, you stopped, all that bullshit. Again, every single person and their fucking mother has done all that stuff. The the whole point is you're here, you're doing it, you're serious about it. We need to capitalize on the motivation and then recreate the discipline to get you in here and to get to where exactly where we need to go. And the second we start getting you some results, the second you start feeling better, looking better, you're going to be great. This is also why earlier we were talking about working four days out four days a week, not five or six. Mm -hmm. That's exactly why we're starting with four, because if you were fucking sore and couldn't move your, your legs every single day, you don't want to go to the gym. You can't work. Like you can't do the things that you need to do if you mm -hmm. can't freaking move. So we're going to make slow incremental changes with everything, diet, nutrition, like just absolutely everything to get you to where you want to go to form the habit and then slowly start to change your body to get that permanent change. All right. Okay. Yeah. Boom. Okay. So that's, that's my discovery. I have two more minutes. That's my discovery that I do right after I do this, I go into pitch. Now, the one thing about your pitch that you had was your pitch was you don't uh -huh. want to talk deliverables. You don't okay. want to talk. That's a very small portion of it. You don't want to talk like a chat. Like I'm going to chat with you and I'm going to do this. And that's all assumed. Like yeah. all they need to know is you're going to solve their problem with your methods and your ways. So when you go over your, your pitch is essentially you going over your thought process with all the information that you just learned for them going through how you're going to take them through that and what they're going to look like in each one of those phases. Okay. So I typically draw like talking about car educating them on cardio, educating them on nutrition, educating them on strength training. I talk about how we're going to build one, one pound of lean solid muscle every four to six weeks. Mm -hmm. And then uh, how we're going to get to 10 pounds of lean solid muscle because one pound of muscle burns um, 50 calories at rest, 10 pounds of muscles, 3,500 calories. Uh, that's one pound of fat. Right. Mm -hmm. So like, that's, that's exactly what we're trying to do. So if we can get their 
uh, we can get 10 pounds of lean solid muscle. They're burning one pound of fat every single week while their body's at rest. It's going to be that much fucking easier for them to stay in shape, which is why if we take 10 pounds of muscle or one pound of muscle every four to six weeks, it takes us 12 fucking months to do that. So my pitch is ingraining in their brain, no matter the goal, we're going to lose the weight at month three, month four, month five, but our job's still not done because we need that fucking muscle. Mm-hmm. And then, then I'd create a timeline for them. I literally am drawing a timeline for them and going months one to three, this is what you're, we're doing. And this is what it looks like months four through eight. This is what we're doing. And this is what it looks like. This is where we hit your goal months nine through 12. We've we're getting to the maintenance phase where I'm going to teach you how to keep this. And by the end of this, you've put on that, that all that muscle that we just talked about. And now mm-hmm. you're set up and you're ready to go. And you have 12 months of freaking workouts that we did together, 12 months of discipline that we built together, 12 months of muscle that we built together. And we lost 50 pounds of fucking fat together. And trust me, you're going to be a goddamn beast. And I don't talk to women like that. But if, if mm-hmm. I have a rapport with a guy, I'll, I'll typically kind of have that like conversation. Yeah. I'll be like, you'll be a goddamn beast and you'll always know what needs to be done. And you'll mm-hmm. be, you'll have that fucking skill forever. And so by the end, when I get to after that part and I go, okay, cool. So you ready? You want to get going? All right. So here's how it works. Then I jump into out of, I have over 50 different programs, but based off of what you need, these are the two I think are going to work best for you. Then I jump right into those immediately. Okay. So it's 30 minutes of discovery. And did you see how it was? I didn't question answer. I questioned, you gave me an answer. I asked another question. I asked another question. I asked another question off of that one kind of rapidly gave a quick solution, pivoted right over. And did you, did you feel like the cadence of it too? There was no, like, aside from the lag and like the zoom and like the breaking up a little bit, it was boom, 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 boom. It felt like five minutes. We were just on a call for 45. Yeah. It was just like the same consistent, like same pace. Yeah. So it was really, it was really good. So that's how you're going to sell people because ingrained in every single one of these is kind of what you were trying to do covering mm-hmm. all those bases but yeah. it covers accountability it covers time it covers why you're going to be there it covers the support questions the finance questions it covers all the questions that you need while also giving them the solution on how you're going to help them and okay. i go at them exactly how i just went at you okay now i probably i curse a lot less when it's people like if yeah. it wasn't you i wouldn't i wouldn't be cursing as much yeah but I'm just that I'm just exactly how I just was as mm-hmm. high energy as like that spoken as mo- trying to be motivating, trying to be inspiring, trying to just be like, Hey, fuck this, fuck that. Like whatever it is, what it is, this is what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And, but the whole point of everything that you say is painting the picture of what they're going to look like when they're on the top of that mountain okay. um, and they're over there. So that's uh that's what we want to do man it's going to be okay. really 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 freaking good i think we should do another meeting tomorrow if you have time and i'll show you the education because yeah. i think you're going to get a lot of value from that okay yeah let me see my schedule for tomorrow and let's see yeah i have availability at the same time okay i'm just going to move the appointment cool done done and done my friend all right this was great i hope you got a little bit out of this if you have any questions let me know um go into that fit pro vault take everything that you can find this form rehearse the questions over and over again and remember you start at the age and you just move your way down and then you do a quick medical then you start going in and then now you're now you're in it like now you're in the discovery okay cool thanks man i really appreciate it no problem man happy to help you're gonna crush you're gonna dominate let's do it i'll talk to you you tomorrow peace